name is Scott, and I'm going to build another computer. It's going to be a media center computer. And uh, I'm going to shoot a video, and you can watch how I build it. First of all, I'm going to uh, go through all the parts that I have, or most of them. This is a sound card. Sound blaster. Motherboard I'm going to use is the Striker 2 Extreme Motherboard. Sweet. As you can see, the case I have here. Really nice, cool master case. It's got a sweet, nice paint job. Beautiful case. Unreal. This here is a 9-in-1 card reader. It's going to read various uh, media cards. Put that in there. The processor I'm going to use is a Core 2 Extreme. It's a, it's a quad core processor. Obviously, you can tell. Um, this machine I'm going to put in 4 gigs of RAM. This is a uh, it's DDR3, of course here, obviously. I figure I'll need more than 4 gigs on this media center PC. It's going to be a gaming PC as well. We run some games on it. Power supply, I have this Mach 1 modular power supply. And I have a, just a regular DVD drive, just for the regular drive. I have this, uh, Ray, got to have that for the media center PC so I can burn high definition movies. And uh, this here is the uh, TV, uh, what do they call it? Uh, the um, recording card that uh, I'm going to put in the back of the computer. And this allows me to run the cable, my cable television, into the computer so I can use Windows Media PC or Windows Media, media Center. Um, Windows Media Center, and I can all, it also allows me to record high definition movies onto my hard drive and regular TV shows and whatnot. So that's essential for a Media Center PC. Video card I have for that is uh, this one. It's an NVIDIA chip on it. Um, it's a GTX 280 chip. It's got a gig of DDR3 memory. It's a nice, fast video card. A lot of RAM. Cool this bad boy with this water cooling system. If I cool it, it's very nice, very cool. And the hard drives I'm going to use on this machine is this one here is um, Western Digital Raptor, Velociraptor. It's uh, 300 gigabytes, and I'm going to be putting an operating system on this. It's really fast, I think it's 1500 um, RPMs, I could be wrong. I'm going to be putting an operating system on that. I didn't find it necessary to use any RAID on this system. Um, maybe I'll have a uh, RAID on the storage. I have some just regular Seagate Barracudas, uh, 1.5 terabytes each, so I'll have 3 terabytes of video storage, um, media storage on this PC. So, yeah, that's the parts. <laughs> Okay, now I've taken everything out of the box, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to install the motherboard into the case. And but first, what I need to do is the motherboard needs to set on these little these little standoff screws. They set on top of this in the specific spots where the holes are in the motherboard. And this particular case has a, a little diagram of where all those these little standoffs will go. So I'm going to do that now. This particular motherboard, like I said, has, you know, it says um, it's an ATX motherboard, and so, you know, slot A over here, I don't know if you can see it, these, one of these goes in there. So all I'm doing right now is just installing these little standoffs. Alright. Okay, now, on the back of the, or on, on the, the back of the motherboard here, there's a, uh, 
these little pieces here um, that the motherboard comes with this little plate which is specific to this um, all these um, you know um, things here on this motherboard yeah like that and so the case also comes with one of these installed on it but it doesn't happen to fit this configuration so we need to swap out this one so what we do is we just uh, basically push that out it's a uh, same thing as that other one, but a different configuration. And then this just snaps right in. Just like that. So now when we put the motherboard in, those holes will line up with all these little holes here. And uh, anytime you're uh, handling, you need these this equipment they're obviously very very delicate you never want to you know push any of these or you know you always want to hold them on a size and really you're supposed to um, have a little wire that you connect to a ground but um, here we're in Florida it's 80 percent humidity and uh, I'm a risk taker I'm not gonna bother with that I've never never have I shocked anything but it's a good idea to do and by the way um, this is a uh, I don't claim that this is the correct way to do this, the right way, the best way, it's one way. Okay, there's one thing before, um, before we put the motherboard down on top of, you know, down in the case, um, because I'm using a, um, a third party cooling system on the CPU, um, I need to install uh, four screws right here um, for the, the, the cooling element to fasten onto the CPU. So I'm going to install those little brackets right now and the screws come in from the back of the motherboard. So we have to do that before we put the motherboard in there. And um, I'm using this, um, these specific parts that came with the Freezone CPU cooler installation guide specific to this CPU. Which is important. I mean, you really want to read through the manuals of these things, especially when you're, um, you know, you're using a, a like a third-party cooling system. You want to make sure you read the manual thoroughly. I mean, for me, it's a pain to, in the ass to do, but you have to do it. So you're taking the screw Putting it in the back motherboard, put this little washer on, and then put this stand up. And we're just doing that four times. And this is important five hour energy drink. So now we've installed these standoffs, as you can see right here. So when I put the, the cooling unit on the CPU, I'll have these specific bars that will go here to here, and then in a cross fashion to hold that thing down firmly on the CPU. That's what those are for. Now we're going to put the motherboard in the case. Okay. Bolts are over the spot. Great. Okay, now I'm going to take these little bolts, or screws, whatever, and screw them into those brass standoffs that we put on earlier through the motherboard. And obviously we want to be very careful not to accidentally slip and knock out some one of these things. It's very important. 